Most of us gobble down Girl Scout cookies as like a dessert or an afternoon snack. Not that I would know what that's like. But what about using them in a savory dinner dish, namely these? Tagalong cookies. Well, that's exactly what Girl Scout Sigourney McWilson did, and she shared it with us. This eighth grader and cadet from Fife is not afraid of a little spice. How long have you been a Girl Scout? I've been a Girl Scout, I think, almost eight years. Eight years? Yeah. Wow, and so I hear in that time, you have become a top cookie seller. What is your secret? Hard work. I go to a lot of different cookies at different grocery stores, and I just sell a lot of cookies. That's key, uh, and I can't imagine anyone who doesn't love seeing a Girl Scout selling cookies. I know I do very much. Um, what are you making for us today? Today, I'm going to make an African peanut soup, but it has a little twist since it's going to be made with tagalongs. So it's just peanut butter, cocoa powder, and then ton of other seasonings and a lot of veggies. That's pretty amazing. How did you come up with this idea? Um, I just thought it up because I wanted to do something savory and be a little different. So I thought this would be a good thing to do with the tech. You must be really proud of the soup and, and, and creating something out of something you've obviously been really dedicated to. Yeah, I am. I love this soup. It tasted so good. Well, let's get started. What goes into it? Okay, so I chopped up some onions and uh, there's garlic as well. So I sauteed that in a pan. And then I put in the peanut butter and the cocoa powder. It sounds weird, but it tastes really good. And then I put in all the seasonings. So I have adobo, cumin, paprika, salt, pepper. There's a ton of different seasonings. And then I put in the chicken broth and mix it all up. And then I have my carrots as well. I'm also going to dice these up. So I split it lengthwise on the bottom so it's easier to dice up. And it's just all diced up mostly, except for the um, tomatoes, which I just cut in half because you don't really need to dice them up. They'll just disintegrate in the soup. Right, they just kind of cook down as part of it. How, how long does the soup cook for? It depends on how uh, thick you want the consistency to be, but I'd say about 30 minutes, and you can simmer it on low. Um, but if you want it to go like low and slow for really long, uh, and you want like a thicker consistency, you can do it up to an hour. Low and slow, that's the name of the game, I love it. So after that's all mixed together, I'll start on the fufu. So the fufu goes with the soup, and it's like an elastic dough that you can dip the soup in. So I make that with the potatoes, which I boil, and then I mash them up and add in the cornstarch, which makes it into an elastic dough. That's incredible. And is that a traditional family recipe that comes from the family? Kind of. It's African soup, so it's like kind of a part of my heritage. I love it. I love that. I also love that you added the tagalongs too. How did you add that into the soup? I just crushed them up and I added them in with the soup base, the peanut butter and the cocoa powder and all of the veggies. Um, it's kind of like a binding agent and with the shortbread and stuff, it just uh, makes the soup thicker. I love that. It makes it bigger. That's fantastic. How do you think the Girl Scouts is preparing you for life ahead. It definitely teaches financial classes and how to finance my future. So it definitely prepared me for when I'm in college, finding an apartment, or uh, also with the earth, if I want to plant something, I know the history of planting, where my food's coming from, where it's going. So I'm learning all of that in Girl Scouts. That's incredible. I also understand that you have worked with a project that addresses food scarcity. Tell me about that. Yeah, um, we talked about what is our food being processed. It's like in a, a plastic box or something. It's not that good for the environment and it has to be shipped by trucks that are also not good for the environment. And we're learning more about like in communities where there's food deserts and stuff, where the food's coming from in the food deserts and if it's good or not for the community. Now, Shigourney, she is sharing 
her tagalong African peanut soup. It is on our website right now. And if you need to stock up on tagalongs or any other flavor, you can't have mine, but you can go to QFC and find them there. All proceeds go to the Girl Scouts, which means you can get your late night Thin Mint fix at the grocery store.